back to Paddling Girls. So what are we be doing in today's video today? So in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys our skincare routine. But yeah. this video is going to be divided into two. So if you're watching part one, good luck. If you're watching part two, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it either way. So let's get into it. This is my skincare routine. So normally what I do, I start first by removing my makeup. So I, the wipes I use is the makeup remover wipes by FPL, I believe, is a cucumber. And it was really good and it's reasonable. It's like $13 at any rate. So with this, I recently started using the simple micellar water, it's a cleansing water, and it with minerals and plant extracts. So they say it have no artificial perfume or coloring and no harsh chemicals. Something that my skin off. No harsh chemicals. So I just pour some onto the wipes and I gently remove. So I start with my face first. So try to get everything off. Very gently go under the eyes. So you see, it see it's really getting everything off. And it also have one by um Dan um I think it's Garnier. They have a really good micellar water as well, but it was out of stock, so I didn't got I didn't get that one. So I just resort to be simple. I know some people use oils, but I like to use the oil more for my eyelashes right so this oil I have it in an application bottle because I like to see how much oil so I know when I'm running out and clearly I'm below one ounce right now so this is jojoba oil and I got this at Pennywise and it was like around $65 so what I do I just take some of the jojoba oil and I just massage that in to take out the mascara, especially when you put on like a lot. Okay, so and this oil is very lightweight and it helps your skin a lot. I have seen um seen a lot of results in my skin since I started using this oil. It was recommended by a YouTuber. So I will continue using this oil until get something better. So I just gently okay. so right. Don't forget the neck area as well. Sometimes we forget the neck area. Right. So this card. So the next step is to make sure and wash your hands. Okay, I'm going to get all that to me out here. And what I like to do is go in with my wash. So this is a facial wash that I've been using and it works really, really good. And a little goes a long way. So I just apply some. And I put my I normally have my deep cleansing son sonic, it's sonic, a sonar brush, but I cannot stop using it for a while because too much of exfoliating, you know, kind of tend to damage your skin. So since I've been using this, I see results in terms of my acne being cleared up, especially in this area here and here and over here as well. So this product really haven't seen results and it's a hundred percent organic as well. So if you could get your hands on this, you could try it out. So neck area, I'm just gonna circular motion, right? Make sure you get everything out there. Right. Next step, wash it off.
So from here now, I will normally take next step is the astringent, right? And well, right now I'm out of alcohol prep pads, so I will just fold this in half and use what I have. So I just dab a little bit of this. So what this does, this will um, remove all the extra makeup that I have and really clean out your face and balance the pH back. So see, the importance. Let's go back. Make sure everything is out and refresh your face. And this actually have willow bark extract in it so it works really good and salicylic acid so cleans out your face really good so all here by the neck area your neck is part of your face don't forget that <laughs> you need to take care of your neck as well as your face right i know i look at wet but all part of the process so i'm going to take some of Paper towels, a little dab. You don't ever wipe your face like this. You gently tap or dab the excess water, right? So, um, uh, make sure everything is out, right? And discard. Right. So next step, if journey D. I will in the morning time I will apply this. This is Hawaiian sunscreen and it has green tea and it has SPF 45. This one has natural ingredients as well and it's water resistant. This works really good as you can see it's from the same brand. This brand is really good in terms of sensitive skin and like I said before in a previous video they won the Aloha Beauty Award which is really good because to find something that is for sensitive skin is like, a, you know, it's a nice thing. So the next thing I want to go into is hydration boost light with the cream, but you can also use it for the night. And this also have a SPF of 25. You don't really need it in the night, but this so far have been looking really good for me. And what I do, I just apply this, especially close to the eye area, and just tap the teeth, apply something in the forehead and below. And it's not greasy, I mean, not thick, but it does give you that moisture, moisturization that you need. And if my skin is like, feeling like it needs a little more moisture, I will just take some of the jojoba oil gently and just put it underneath my eyes or put it down on my skin. So this, what the jojoba oil does, it actually, like, when the pores are open, it fills up that arm, it fills those pores and it prevents blackheads. So that was the, this oil do. So this is one of the reasons why I really really love this oil. It looks good. And then just tap it in and all to your neck. So and that's it. So you could be watching the end of part one or you could be watching the end, end of, of part, part two. two. Either way is our face look fresh. <laughs> <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoy both videos. So if you're watching part one, go watch part two. Mm -hmm. If you already watched part two, part one and go watching part I just finished watching part two. <laughs> Top sister. <laughs> then thank you guys for watching. watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.